There is absolutely no way that I would have thought when I became a nurse that I could do nursing behind a camera. Hello there, how can I help you? This is Diane from the EICU Lifeguard. Hi, Diane. Our executives envision that any Baptist patient that's in an ICU bed, regardless of the location, will have access to the same level of critical care experts. The hurdles that we faced um, originally when we were contemplating the inception of the EICU were around demonstrable outcomes, increasing throughput, seeing more patients with the same amount of resources or at times even less. We've worked with Philips over the years to foster new processes and new ways of taking care of patients. You know, the question I get often is, well, you, you guys can't put your hands on the patients. We are able to be more patient-centric because we have all of this information going from the minutia to the 30,000-foot view in a split second to make adjustments that are meaningful for patients. Is it a hemorrhagic stroke or non-hemorrhagic? Yeah, hemorrhagic. hemorrhagic stroke. Length of stay is an important metric for financial and clinical reasons. The shorter the length of stay means that the opportunity for a patient to have an untoward complication is significantly reduced. We can reduce the cost and also turn over the beds quicker so that the hospital can help more patients that are in need of ICU care. The EICU provides a wealth of data about how our system is performing, and we're able to take that data and develop processes which provide the best evidence-based care for our patients. You hear everyone talk about big data, big data. Yes, that's wonderful, it's great, but your experts are the ones that need to be able to execute in a meaningful way that's going to have that patient improving and walking out the door and having a better quality of life. There are many things that we'd like to use predictive analytics to, to predict. One of the things is the prediction of the length of stay of a patient. And this is going to improve the operational capacity and efficiency of hospitals. And I think that's good for everybody in terms of patient care and for reducing the cost of care. The partnership with Philips has been incredibly uh, valuable for both sides, putting a number of resources behind it to not only demonstrate the value of what we do, but also show us in so many other ways in which we can innovate. Mm -hmm.